Hello, everyone, and welcome to Supercast Brothers. We're we're broadcasting from a new home today. You may notice the change in backdrop. I'm watching my friend's house and my friend's dog. We uh, just we have a special guest today, so we're just kind of navigating the schedule, seeing what works best for the opening episode of season five. And lo and behold, we have none other than everyone's favorite plumber, especially in the Smash community, I might say. Waluigi. Xanta could make it, unfortunately, but... Hello? Hey. Can, hey. Is this... Is it... Are, can you see me? Is it... Is it working? No, not yet. Not yet. Ah, um, God. They, Wario, is, is that, damn it! I told you it needed to be working! <laughs> I so... Give me a minute. God, okay, okay, God. okay, okay, okay. So, so I guess while they're getting ready, we'll we'll just say season five. We we, we can't believe we're already here, and just wow! Well, How hey. about now? Is it hey, there now? you are. Yeah, we can see you. We can see you. Good. Looking good, Waluigi. I, Certainly well, better yes, than. Well, yes, I usually do. You know. Yeah, especially more so than than a certain green plumber. We don't talk about him. No, 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 we don't. We don't. We're, we're paying you compliments. You're much better looking. You're goddamn right I am. <laughs> so I see your uh, lovely backdrop. Where, where, where is that in the Mushroom Kingdom? Is that is this Waluigi world? Oh, no, 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 no. You've actually seen this place before. Uh, little known adventure uh, called Wario's Woods. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a fairy, uh, W name mm -hmm. something. She doesn't really matter. She don't live here. But, uh, no, I, uh, I live out in Wario Shack. It's a... Oh, great. Yeah, great. he's got a house. I've got a, like, it's a, it's a glorified outhouse, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's okay. Sounds like my uncle's living situation at my place. Oh, nice. Does he get toilet paper? Because I don't get toilet paper. If yeah, if if he comes inside, he he's able to you use the restroom. He can go inside. Yeah, yeah. Could I live with him? Probably, I would say there's enough. Yeah! Room. <laughs> so we'll just figure out the airfare from from uh, the Wario's Woods to Tucson, Arizona, and we'll we'll get it sorted out. Do you not have pipes? You know what? I think we do. Have right, you ever worked I'll with just a use a pipe? pipe then. Okay, God. excellent. Who would oh, well, fly well. it these days? Pipes are free! If, yeah, I, I've seen Mario take a jet airliner to Isle Delfino. What was he thinking? He usually doesn't. Let me tell you. He gets the front line position, but it's only because he doesn't know how to negotiate for better working conditions. <laughs> Look at me! I'm barely at anything because I'm too expensive. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Is that why Wario hasn't been able to negotiate you in a WarioWare game? Well, here's the thing about WarioWare games. He doesn't pay his employees. It's a whole thing. Every time he has a new venture, it's like, okay, guys, give me your ideas. I'll pay you this time. I swear, mm -hmm. and at the mm -hmm. end of it all, every time he doesn't pay, and they all go chasing after him. I know the deal. I live with the guy. He don't pay shit. And what do you think about this? I mean, if they're stupid enough to keep doing it, that ain't my problem. <laughs> That's between but them and their insurance companies. Fair enough. But all that being said, I think it's high time that you star in your own game. All the same. It's funny you mentioned that. I've been working on a little something. Really? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's still early stages because you know I. It's real hard to find a good programmer. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any of the skills myself. I was gonna use Unity. Well, that's out now. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Maybe. Um... Maybe you can use the the Mugen fighting game simulator to to make your game. I wonder if Wario has any connection with Unity. They seem to have similar business practices. 
Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, just don't work with that condition. Oh, God, no, I have fucking standards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know you do. We know you do. Um, well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on to our uh, very, very prestigious and well-known podcast. We're We're so glad that you were able to share your presence with us today. Wait, podcast? I think yeah. this is the Great British Bake Off. Not today. I, un, unfortunately, Shh. those folks they um they're here. Oh, they're they're yeah they're they're in the other room baking. Oh, well, I... they told me they would get with you after after we talked just for a little bit. Oh, this oh it's one of the okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see mm-hmm. what we're mm-hmm. doing. It's one of those two for one deals. I get what I want. The producers get what they want. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, as you say, unions and and uh, that was it was just part of, part of the deal. Yeah, after, that's after those strikes recently ended. Well, they're not Tested. fully Tested. ended, but I'm rooting mm-hmm. for them. You know. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Like, to a to a point, you know. Hey. Make the money, but if the people are rising up against you, yeah, I mean, you want to make the money, you got to make a deal. That's just how it goes. Yeah, it's like yeah, Wario. Yeah. I mean, they keep doing it for him, but if they ever say no, he's going to have to pay him. It's just like you know, mm-hmm. you had a good run, and now you're fucked. Right. Yeah. It's like um. With that being said, uh, Waluigi, what do you think about the uh, about the SAG after Rider Strike? I mean, I think, well, actually, it's SAG after is the, the Screen Actors Guild. Uh, the writers, I don't remember their act. They're, 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 they're separate. It's two strikes. I don't know if you were aware. Two separate strikes, actually. Uh, WG, actually, I believe is what the uh, the writers right. are. Right. They're the right. ones who just recently got their deal. I think they're voting on it or something. I, I'm i not a writer, yep. barely an actor. So mm-hmm. I'm not like a part of either of them, but you know, again, it's like, hey, if you can get away with screwing people over, you're getting away with it. But when they realize it, well, if you want to keep making your product, you gotta just make the deal. So hey, yeah. smart on them. They realize it, so they're getting their share. Yeah, and and these, these also two fuck strikes. AI. That's just yeah. bullshit, straight yeah. up. Yeah. Nobody that's anybody that wants that. Just wants a steaming pile of crap. And coming from a guy that lives in a glorified outhouse, you don't want a steaming pile of crap. No, 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 no. Um, speaking of, what are your real opinions on eggplants? You love them? Do you hate them? Listen, I didn't know what I was doing when I sold the rights to that emoji. Okay? I didn't know what it would become. How people would use it? It was supposed mm-hmm. to just be food. A delicious food item that anybody can enjoy. You just you just stick it in your mouth and you bite it. And then they turn it into a sex thing. <laughs> I didn't want it to be a sex thing. That wasn't what it was supposed to be. Would would you say that generally you're, you're a very family friendly icon? Like you would not go out of your way to do something sexual. Listen, listen. You do one crotch chop. Mm-hmm. You do two crotch chop. You do three crotch chop specter. Everybody thinks suddenly you're a sex magnet. The truth is, I'm the Christian family values kind of guy. I would never do anything like... No, are you kidding me? Fuck it. I am just all in on this nonsense. Nobody's the crotch chop like, accidentally. Only do it if you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did, do you think that um But Daddy and Miyamoto didn't know. We got I was that one volume, didn't we, boys? <laughs> 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 so so you mentioned Christian values. So oh, I, yes, I take yes. it as practitioners of Christianity in the mushroom kingdom, so you're so you're aware of the religion. Oh of course, um, of course. The the shy guys are all over it. <laughs> what what is do you come from a from a religious background or would you say you're more um agnostic or, or atheistic what what are your religious 
views, if you don't mind me asking. Have you ever heard of the Order of the Golden Pipe? I haven't, but I would like you to educate me. You go in the pipe. Well, you wish to go into the pipe, because everybody's dream is to enter the Golden Pipe. It's It takes you wherever you want to go, whether that's to a star or wherever your afterlife may take you. Mm-hmm. And anybody can get there if they know how to find it. It's just a series of riddles and puzzles and sometimes dirty coins. Mm-hmm. But if you can find the golden pipe, you're set. You're, um, you're the, the, the character on your hat and yes. your gloves almost looks like a golden pipe. Well, it's actually Lambda. Uh, mm-hmm. The Greek alphabet. I don't know if you're aware. There are multiple alphabets in the world. Like mm-hmm. uh, your little your little English alphabet. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's it's old, but it ain't Greek old. Mm-hmm. Like, you so, know, so some people they get the names. They get the letter of their name on the hat. It's like wow, how pretentious! Like you, we don't know your fucking Mario. We get it. You're wearing red. You got the overalls. You jump high. Ooh, we all know mm-hmm. you're Mark. I'm an intellectual. I so you, went to school. <laughs> and not a so sham doctor's school like somebody we all know. This is true. Like like multiple somebody's you all know. Would you say Wario's PhD is legit? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that! I wrote it in crayon and he thinks it's real! <laughs> what a loser! I mean, he's mm-hmm. smart with the businesses, but really not anywhere else. I mm-hmm. mean, the guy awakened the fucking spirit out of the pyramid. He thought it was going to be treasure. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've heard about his campaign to usurp Princess Peach as the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, saying that he can make it more like, run more like a business. What do you think about that? Uh, listen, listen. Kingdoms countries, uh, little fiefdoms up along the coast. You can't mm-hmm. run them like a business. Yeah, It just doesn't work that way. That's not how the rules are. Right. Everybody thinks that a successful businessman can successfully run a government organization and to a degree, sure, some probably could, but you can't run them like a business. Same reason you can't run them like a mafia group. It just don't work. I yeah. mean, Bowser's kind of close with the whole mafia thing. But even yeah. then, he's still a proper royal. King yeah. Koopa. Yeah. Just don't ask him about the wife. He's real sensitive about it. <laughs> I made that mistake once. Oh, yeah. That's why I wasn't in Mario Kart 7. <laughs> now, given there were numerous millions of fans who were against that decision, especially with the Honey Queen coming in to to fill in for that space, yeah, do you that, do you have any? What, what's your relationship like with her? Well, it's better than it was. Let me put it that way. There's some real bad blood there for a few years. I understand. Um. Has she has she let you crawl on her to, to collect pieces of a star? How do you think we got rid of the bad blood? Yeah. You might have to crawl on her to get rid of that first. <laughs> More than <laughs> once, if you know what I mean. I understand. I understand. It's it comes from a gentleman with a limb. There's a reason she wasn't added to tour. Oh, I understand. Speaking of speaking of the mafia, I suppose. Oh, yes. She's dead. Okay, okay. Was it was it the Mafia's doing? The Piantas, yeah. They're real good guys. <laughs> Very professional. Mm-hmm. I've, I've heard that Don Pianta and his crew are coming back into a lot of work in the near future. I'm so proud of them. They've been lobbying for years. They even teamed up with the Cross, which was... Very surprising that they would do that. It's like, wow, mm-hmm. really putting things aside for the greater good. Of course, you know, they're going to go back to, you know, killing each other. But, yeah. man, even just a temporary truce is impressive. Absolutely. It's it's amazing um, what you can do in the name of a mutual cause. I, oh, I yes. suppose. Um, 
I guess taking it way back, uh, you you made your debut in in Mario Tennis on on the sixty four. Ah, you, ah, the Game Boy. The Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Color. This wow, you're right. Shortly yeah. after. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, and I guess our our question is, you know, from from longtime fans of 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 you, well, Luigi. Thank you. Um, thank we want to know like, prior to stepping into the limelight. What were you doing? What were your early years like? All right. So everyone knows what the Mario Brothers were doing before they got all big and famous, right? They were doing their construction or carpentry and all that. Then they went on to being plumbing. And then they went on their big hero adventures. Wario, surprising as it may be, was actually just a businessman. He's just a businessman. And then he saw what the Mario Brothers were doing. He's just like... Huh. Well, I don't want to do that shit. But if I go over there, there's money. And I can mm-hmm. get it a lot easier than just swindling people. As for me, I was actually, uh, this is, this, you're not going to believe this, I tell you what. Uh, I started as a substitute teacher. <laughs> really? Yeah, at Toadwood Academy, actually. Uh, they are not smart. Holy shit. <laughs> you can scam them like easy money. The, 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 the expression taking candy from a baby. These were older than babies. Like, you know, it was a range. It was, kind of, it was like one of those, they have kind of all grades kind of schools. Mm-hmm. I got all their candy. I still got leftovers these years later. Probably should throw it out because I'm pretty sure some has expired. But, I mean... Who else else is going to eat it? Yeah. Maybe Wario. Fucking over my dead body. (laughs) Let's hope it never comes to that. He already has you in the outhouse. That's true. But that's an inspirational story. At the very least, you know, uh, you you were able to uh, mend that that any bad blood you may have had with, with Wario at the beginning to... Uh, be brothers and and star in the opening credits of of these Mario tennis games. Uh, wait, time wait, and, time and again, brothers. Yes. Yeah, uh, whether that's Blood Brothers or or by uh, kind of an inner connection as friends, there are many people who believe and call you the Wario Brothers. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. You see. The Mario Brothers, they're brothers. Mm-hmm. Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. It's, they're, it's their name. They're, they're the Mario Brothers. We're not fucking brothers. <laughs> Is uh, Wario's last name Wario? Is Wario's last name? No. Wario's name isn't even Wario. He just calls him that himself that so that he can be like ooh I'm evil Mario see look I'm I'm Wario ha huh? cuz it's the the whole Wario evil version of yeah. the clone yeah. thing it's like yeah come on it's not it's his name's Paul <laughs> and you Waluigi is that your real name no oh i thought that maybe luigi had stolen it no I'd kill him. I'd just straight <laughs> up kill him. I keep a shiv on me for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On site, it's on. I hear you. So I some of these you. people, you know, they have their friendly rivalries every now and then they fight, then they meet up for tennis and go-karts. Me and the green one, though? Oh, hell no. Mm-hmm. Hell no, it's death on site. What What do you think about the his death stare that he's been giving in, in Mario Kart tours? Did he steal? Did he steal that from you? I have these bags under my eyes for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Many long nights, perfecting the evil stare, and that little shit steals it, just like he stole my girlfriend. Yeah, Birdo. Daisy! Oh, man. Everyone thinks it's Luigi and 
Daisy. It was Daisy and Waluigi first. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And now, uh, first, she's playable in Smash before me. And she's mm -hmm. playable in Wonder before me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let it all out. It's a, this is a safe space. <laughs> We're supposed understand. to get married. I understand. My my co-host once once stole a stole a girlfriend from me, so I, I understand. You want to kill him? I'll kill him with you. Sure. Let, let's go find him after this. All right. I'll get my shiv. <laughs> it's funny. Her name was Wallister. It was a beautiful, a beautiful name. Mm-hmm. Wait, your co-worker name. or the girl? The girl. Oh yeah, beautiful name. Beautiful name. Reminds me a lot of him, actually. I, I, there, there are many things that I admired about him, but you know, finding it in someone else, mm. while listening, mm. she's much like him, but with a strong mustache. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Mustache mm -hmm. is very nice. Always nice. Yeah, it's very, if very can't well grow good. Armor. Mustache. Then what's your point? Yeah. This is true. This is what do you what do you feel about beards and and mustaches like that that combo? I mean, it kind of depends on the style, I guess. But so mm -hmm. many beards these days they fall into one or two categories. You either got like, oh, I just do the style, and it's like you know, it's just a big old straight line, blah, boring. Or they just let it go everywhere. It's like, dude, trim mm -hmm. it. Because mm -hmm. nasty, nasty. Yeah. Like Santa's beard. No, 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 no. He, he's in the first category. No, oh, true, 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 true. At no, least nobody does the Viking anymore where they, like, get all the braids and shit. Nobody mm -hmm. styles anymore. It's just, like, straight down biker must or beard or mm -hmm. basement dweller <laughs> beard. Believe, believe it or not, there's there's a couple of guys that that I know in Canada who are, who are trying to grow a convincing Viking Viking beard right now. In Canada, yeah, their their names are are Ebit and Flamezone. You you may have heard of them through through the through the internet. Canadians can't grow beards. You're right, but we are praying for them to the Golden Pipe. You might, I don't. <laughs> Only for me. Have you been to Canada? Fuck no! <laughs> T tell they us tried to get one of those Olympics sport events to be there. And I was just mm -hmm. like, you do it there, I ain't going. Yeah. You're, you're not interested in uh, Mario and Sonic at the Regina Olympic Games? No! <laughs> I understand that, but you are very, you're, you're quite the athlete. You're, you're prolific in, in, in nature in a number of sports now. Um, I've seen you personally best the entire crew of, of these games time and again with, with your athleticism. So um, congratulations to you again on everything you have accomplished so far um, because you're truly an athlete. And you bring your own spice to the field too that I think a lot of your fans truly appreciate. Uh, we mentioned the chop, crotch chop. Uh, sometimes you bring a flamenco flair with a rose. Uh, we've been seeing more recently. Uh, we've seen you literally swim through the air. Very uh, difficult no... skill to master, by the no. way. Very, I... very difficult. I believe it. The Mario Brothers need actual water to do what you do. Also, I, I just remembered. Uh, mm -hmm. I forgot. Yeah. We I have actually been to Canada. Have you? Yeah, uh, Vancouver. I forgot this. Mm -hmm. We the second time we did the whole Olympics things with the the Sonic people. Yeah, that that's mm -hmm. apparently that's where that was. I I, I got an alert uh, reminding me. I was like, oh shit, right. Was we that you, Uh, I'm not supposed to say the name of my agent when I'm on the air. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, um, I, understand. I understand. You know, it's it's one of those things. Yeah, Canada, you. That's that says a lot about how you feel about the country when when you had forgotten you were already there. Oh yeah, yeah, piece of shit. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Timbits though? You know those are the pride. What? Why would I want to touch Tim's bits? 
The the you know uh, they call them donut holes, which also doesn't make a whole lot of sense in America. Why would I want to touch a man's donut hole? I don't know because it has cinnamon sugar. These gloves have to stay pristine. Pristine in the outhouse. I understand. It's not my choice. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You'll need to start on that mainline game anytime now. You got to make that happen so you can move out of there. There was that one fan game. Got in mm -hmm. a bit of trouble for that one, though. You were psychic. It, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit wasn't. I understand. I understand. But it, it was a good time while it lasted. It's oh, for yeah. You. Yeah. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad Don Pianta got you out of there. I hope they make a sequel. Me too. Um, yeah, again, drawing it back to like your, your moves that you bring to the, yes, to yes. the field. So the, the, the soccer field, the the tennis courts. Where do you draw your inspiration for the for these trademark moves? They're they're all over the place and they're all great. Magic. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of practice spellcasters in the Mushroom Kingdom. Most of them you probably haven't heard of. I mean, I mentioned Wanda earlier. She's also a fairy, so I mean, that's kind of cheating. There's the Merlon family. You know, it's a whole generational thing. Uh, there's obviously there's Ashley, but she's... Listen, she, she tries. But she just... She just keeps fucking up. She mm -hmm. tries. You know, I, I respect it. But how many times you gotta make a giant plant grow by mistake? That's I, true. I went to university. Yeah. And I studied magic. And there's some weird shit in them books, let me tell you. Did I think when I was 16 years old that I would be able to swim through the air or create vines out of my asshole? No! I don't know, that would be a thing! I bet. But it's a thing! I bet. So you, what What year did you, did you graduate university? Well, so... In the Mushroom Kingdom, <clears throat> you finish you finish your normal schooling when you're 17, right? It's just it's mm -hmm. when you're done in the Mushroom Kingdom, and then you can start moving on to like your advanced whatever you want to do. Some go to specialized trade schools, some go to Shea medical schools. Uh, there there are some like normal universities and such, mm -hmm. but the magical ones. They're a little different. Uh, it's kind of like a time-localized thing. You go through a portal, now you're in another dimension, and you're going to school. And yeah. the way time works there, it's a lot different than outside. Uh, this is also part of why like, the Merlon family is all kind of screwy in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, spent, like, I spent nine years in there. Mm -hmm. But outside in the Mushroom Kingdom, only 1.7 years actually passed. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I was in school before Mario was. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. And he started sure. before he started before me. Wow, I guess it sucks to be him. I mean, to be fair, he didn't really do any of the schooling. He paid all, he paid his way through. He paid, mm -hmm. well, he paid his way in. And then he paid his way through, and he he paid off his professors not to leak his transcripts later on, and it's, so it's a it's a money degree. It's essentially it's a money degree, mm -hmm. which he uses to make money. So hey, mm -hmm. in hey. that respect, he passed. Yeah, no, this is true. This is true. Um. You've been in all manner of, of spinoff titles now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, only spinoffs. Only spinoffs. It's a new website that we're working on. Mm-hmm. But what has been your favorite spinoff experience so far, and why is it Waluigi's Foot Fault? Do you remember that? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you're Waluigi. We have to know. Did you play that? Probably. I, I remember Thank being you. old. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I never thought I would hear somebody actually say that name. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I mean, I thought it was a mistake to all those years later make a new game for the Virtual Boy. Mm -hmm. But they were just, but Nintendo, man, those people are some crazy fuckers. Yeah. They they don't know when to stop. Years mm -hmm. after the system had been deemed a failure, they're just like, let's do one more game. Waluigi's game. Man. But, it was a but, time. Yes. Yes, it was. It's where um, I met. It's where I met Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll find yourself another bad mama, Waluigi. Especially with those, especially with those feet. I really enjoyed plucking your toenails for you, clipping them rather. They get pretty nasty. They really were, and and it was almost like he had athlete's foot or something. It was it was a medical condition, but oh, you know, it's working, definitely a medical condition. <laughs> I could take medication game. for it, but that's mm -hmm. that. Listen, we don't have universal health care in the Mushroom Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Shit, expensive. If I want to get yeah. that, I got to go to Darkland, and that's that's like mm -hmm. three airships over. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, whatever cost you can make up, it kind of the airfare defeats it. I, I yeah, get it. I get it. that's just a round trip. Mm -hmm. I can't think no it just move right there, but mm -hmm. Nah. Mm -hmm. it's funny to have a fungal condition in, in a place with so much fungus. I guess it still gets around. Would a super yeah. mushroom hang out? No, they actually make it worse. No, 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 no. Oh gosh. Yeah, you see, usually for most people, super mushrooms that make you big, they just make my fungus bigger. True. True. So you'd be kicking And smellier. People. So if you were in Smash, like, that would rank be like, shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I get in Smash, I'm going to have a foot attack. And they're going to pet. You know how Jigglypuff can make people fall asleep? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make them pass the fuck out. Good. Good. Then you can give them a kick with your big old foot oh yeah mm-hmm the um but yeah the, the circle back quickly to waluigi's foot fault they they really knew what they were doing and they were able to tie in that promo into nintendo power and and into the mario tennis on game boy color and nintendo 64 it was pretty ingenious i i like the the virtual boy version because it really brought you into that world of of cleaning your feet um with the headset but uh you know you're known for your for your for your purple prestige, so it was pretty cool to play the Flash version as well on the computer for a little bit. I've been hoping that they would re revisit that game. Maybe, maybe you can convince them to drop it on the eShop or something. <sighs> I've tried, but they keep giving me the same excuse. It's a rights issue. How can it be a rights issue? I'm the one saying let's do it. Like, mm -hmm. like, apparently, they were like. Two other companies involved in creating it. One of them's defunct and they can't figure out where their rights went. Ah. And then the other one is Taito. I don't know why Taito uh, has a portion of the rights, but they do. It's strange. I'm not involved in the business side of things. That's Wario's job mm -hmm. and my agent, but I don't, yeah. I'm not supposed to talk about them on the air. So Wario's not your agent. No, 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 no. If he was, I wouldn't be able to say it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I just hope that we don't have a Wario's foot fault come out before Waluigi's foot fault, too. Strangely enough, his feet are pristine. I don't know really? why! He has a... His daily diet is just garlic. Mm -hmm. But he... He got no health issues. You'd think! But mm -hmm. no! Lucky <laughs> bastard. What are you? What are your? What's your diet like, Waluigi? Do you eat eggplant all the time, like people might think? Or, well, yeah. I mean, I have some other things too. Like, it's like you know, sometimes you got the eggplant salad, you got the eggplant in your tacos, you got the eggplant spaghetti, you got the eggplant uh, oatmeal. 
There's just a lot of eggplant and a lot of different kinds of things. So you got to mix it up a little. Eggplant curry. Oh, mm -hmm. mm, man. I, I, I hear that. Maybe you can maybe you can make an eggplant foot cream for your for your for your feet. Hmm. You can sell that. You could probably sell that. You know. You, yeah. I gotta test it first. This is true. I'm not Wario. I'm not a monster. You I don't sell products without making sure they work first. Mm -hmm. That's his job. Right. Well, we would love to see you like try it on the air, maybe in a YouTube video or or, or something. YouTube? No, 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 no. YouTube's for suckers. I'm on Vimeo. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Is that a popular platform in in the Mushroom Kingdom? Insanely, Captain Toad is a channel. Really? Yeah. Are you guys he, friends? He or? does unboxings. Wow, nice. What what would what would your content look like if if you ran a Vimeo channel? Well, I did mention how we're working on a site called Only Spinoffs. Mm hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. You could probably do a spinoff of your your foot fault game on this website that you're talking about. A spin-off of a spin-off. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And on only spin-offs as well, I hear that there's a lot of characters who go out of their way to, to make gift registries for their fans to buy them clothes and other items. Maybe you can set something like that up too. I just had an ingenious idea. Did you? Yes. So I don't know if you've heard, but there's been a bit of a controversy in the past couple of years with a certain uh, cooking mama. <laughs> yes. I can be the new cooking mama. You can. I mean, I think I know how to cook. I'm pretty good at eggplant. Mm -hmm. How hard can it be? You know what? Um, my co-host, you would love him. Xantok, he is able to cook a menagerie of different items. Uh, his palate is very broad. Mm -hmm. He could probably help to expand uh, your business model. And and he loves you so much, he'd probably be willing to take a meager cut. Uh, maybe we can talk about this with you, me, him, and your agent later. Wait, was this the same guy that stole your girlfriend, Wallister? Yes, yes. Mm, that's going to be a tough sell. Well that's gonna be a tough sell. Mm-hmm. I understand. Yeah, you, you and I. I'm not a fan of home records. Yeah. Well, well, let's see how 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 much how much more can we relate? Do you do you like um the the Xenoblade series? Ah. Uh, you know those guys. I like X. Mm-hmm. The others. Eh. Listen. Has Mwamba ever come over? What well, one of them has the dumbest looking sword I've ever seen. One <laughs> of them is just gotcha jiggle physics. And then the other one wants you to know the other two. Mm -hmm. Ah! I don't got time for 600 hours of games. <laughs> Jesus. Gotcha jiggle physics. If would I'm going to post 600 hours yeah. into one game, it's going to be Genshin, obviously. <laughs> Okay, Gotcha Jiggle Physics would be great in Waluigi's Foot Finder 2. Uh, foot, foot Fault 2. You want my foot oh. to jiggle in your face? Yeah, it's when you're when you're clipping the toenails. All right, send me five bucks after the show. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so you're a Genshin Impact fan? Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Who who do you like to play as in, in that game? Uh, Well, my favorite one is probably Amber, because she's the first one that you get and she's free and I'm not paying money has Wario paid into Genshin he's not intelligent enough for a game so sophisticated this is true this is this is more than likely true so so you like Genshin have you played any other any other trendy indie games like maybe Minecraft or uh not Minecraft I have played Roblox a lot 
Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I got banned. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Are you, why? Why were you? Uh, I'm legally not allowed to talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's. Let's just say, I deserved it, and I'm very <laughs> lucky to have only been banned. It was oh, bad. Boy. <laughs> I used to love it though. Yeah, it used to be one of my favorite games. That and Seven Swords. <laughs> and you used to watch a lot of Cubics too, didn't you? Uh, Cubots, actually. Cubots. Very nice. Very nice. You like the one that flies? Yeah. Yeah. That was a... They liked eggplants, if I recall that character. I also a big fan of Monster Rancher. Everybody talks about Pogemans and the Digimon. No, Monster mm-hmm. Rancher, that was the real shit. They got a guy that's an eyeball. How fucking mm-hmm. cool is that? Yeah. What was his name again? Swayzo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swayzo. He was even in Super Monkey Ball, which is something that I wish oh. maybe you could do someday. I mean, I know a thing or two about balls. Yeah. I bet. An eggplant as well. I, I, I didn't know it was going to be a sex thing! I know, I know. But we appreciate it all the same. Fucking Apple. <laughs> I um, thought, you know, be in business with a fruit. What mm-hmm. could go wrong? Yeah. Turns out everything. Unfortunately so. <laughs> That's what happens. I mean, the world is crumbling in on itself or we're modernizing at too fast of a pace. That's... How you get eggplants becoming a double entendre. It's not everybody yeah. receives it positively. On the other hand, I mean, you know, Waluigi, you've you've become uh, kind of I, I would say a sex symbol in your own right. Whether whether you've intended to or not, there there are a number of people that look to you as a uh, for their sexual liberation they they see you and and they are excited by you in a number of ways how do you how do you feel about that i mean it's really not surprising i mean there's just certain features on a man that can give you some hints about what Mm -hmm. he's gonna be like beyond Mm -hmm. the clothing like first of all the size of the nose Mm -hmm. the bigger the nose yeah (laughs) also height yeah. Everybody wants somebody taller than them. It's big ol' help with that. And there's just a lot of... I gotta wear these extra... Listen, overalls, they help. A lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With height. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I get what you're putting out there, yeah. The, oh, the crotch chop returns. Hey! <laughs> but that's that's that is good for you, man. And and I think even beyond physique, people are just really attracted to your personality and knowing that you're learned from from a university background. Well, There's... most people don't know about the university thing. It's well, not commonly known, but uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't mind people knowing. Because nobody really thinks to ask. They just assume that I'm a bumpkin. It's like, yeah, Yeah, yeah. I live in an outhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's bigger on the inside. That's that's the magic of it all. The magic that you... Yeah, good for you. Um, And and your natural dance moves, maybe outside of... We're like in Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Did you learn that with magic as well? Or was that more putting your physical effort into it uh actually uh when i was a wee little lad uh my parents actually signed me up for dance classes ballet Mm -hmm. specifically uh i got to play the lead in swan lake (laughs) wow yeah was that rare opportunity for someone like me Mm -hmm. normally they go for the pretty boys but i showed them that's true someone with a little bit more of a, a gruffness to them was was welcome it's the blondes. They like the blondes a lot. Mm-hmm. But what's wrong with a little brunette? I could say you can have a whole lot of fun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What else are you going to choose? A toad? 
Please. <laughs> They're more suited no, for the frog and Princess and the Frog. <laughs> and I'm saying that because they're name. I'm saying that because they're short. This is true. This is true. Uh, what was your favorite part of Swan Lake? Was it the swan? The the the, the sex scene. Yeah. Yeah. In in our world, uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, oh. oh. Yes, he is Swan. He, he had he had your. <laughs> I bet you would. He actually had your role. He actually had your role. Oh, how did you? Yeah. Uh, quite well. He was he's fully naked with a swan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I played uh, a dead body once. He did. He yeah. did. Impressive so, acting. Barbie um actually was on Swan Lake as well. The toy? Yeah, the toy. She she uh there were there were dancing dogs as well. They they go like this with their arms. The, a toy who danced with a dog that did its arms like this. Yes. Yeah. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. I heard it was greenlit as a as a new Mario Party mini game, so you may be seeing it before long. I think you're thinking of the Shake the Can mini game. Mm-hmm. It's the one where How you go that, like yeah. this with the Wemo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pretty simple, really. I mean, there's not much thought to the motion. Anybody can no. do it. Would you say that most people would? It just comes naturally to them. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, a child can do it. <laughs> just raise your hand, hold the controller. It's not mm-hmm. complicated. Mm-hmm. That's true. I mean, I played a lot of WarioWare Smooth Moves when I was younger, and that was one of the motions they had you it's, constantly doing. It's really no different than when you're stabbing somebody. That's true. That's true. You apparently you're quite uh, prolific with the with the knife. Yes. Where was that made? Oh, uh, this was actually made by Master Mantis. Nice. Yeah. He nice. he does a little blacksmithing on the side. He's normally just you know the the martial arts guy, but uh, it doesn't pay the bills if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Does has he used that in martial arts? Like, is he is he trained in knife play? Uh, he can. He just prefers not. Like, he he's trained to use it. He just views it as a perversion of the actual martial arts. So you know what he's doing is like his actual martial arts. You know, he doesn't want to bring up a knife. It's like, no, I'm supposed to like smack people around, not stab them. The stabbing is for other things. But he is trained in both oh. arts. Are you interested in in developing your knife play skills, Waluigi? Uh, I'm more of a casual practitioner at the moment. Uh, maybe someday. If I'm going to start with anything, it's going to be like knife throwing. You know, hit the gingerbread man on the spinning wheel of death. Make him mm-hmm. cry if I hit his arm a little. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, you can, that can almost be a weapon you might use in, in Waluigi RPG. Now, if I'm going to be in an RPG, I think I can do a little bit better than a knife. What are you thinking? Rocket propelled knives. <laughs> nice. Also, lead pipes. Because pipes. Duh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Piranha plants. Or have your, have your, ha, has your relationship with piranha plants changed? Or would you use them in an RPG as well? I know what you're getting to. I know what you're alluding to. Oh, the piranha plant got in Smash before you did. And you're known for using a piranha plant in some of your material. Does that make you upset? Listen. There's a thousand piranha plants in the world. There's a million piranha plants in the world. Probably. I mean, I haven't really counted myself. Mm -hmm. Not every piranha plant is the same. I'm friends with a lot of piranha plants. That one in particular, I'm not friends with. But it's not really because of Smash. It's more the fact that he was grown specifically for that competition. So I'm not really, I really had a chance to be a friend or an enemy. So he's just kind of like, he he's there. If anything, I'm more pissed at Master Hand for that one. It's like, seriously? You couldn't have even <laughs> picked Petey? Like, he was yeah. right there. 
Like, if I was Petey, I'd be pissed. But I mean, no, no, I, 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 I still got my parade to play at Buddies. You know, mm -hmm. we, we hang out, we play poker. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a small little section behind my, uh, my shack where yeah. I grow a couple and take care of them. Yeah. But, no, no, me, me and the plants are still good. Do you, um, where's the next poker game being held? Uh, the next poker game is actually at Poochie's. Cool. Yeah. We'll make, we'll make sure to be there. We'll make sure yeah. to be there. It's going to be him, me, Captain Syrup. Oh, God, there's supposed to be somebody new this time around. Who was it going to be? Uh, Bowyer? Zesty, I think. Okay. I think it was going to be Zesty. I think she's going to be the new one. We have a few new people every now and then. It's, it's a bit of a rotating kind of a sketch, kind of a kind of mm -hmm. group. Uh, we had um, we had Goomboss uh, one, mm -hmm. but he had a hard time holding onto the cards. So he kind of <laughs> just had to like lay them out on the table in front of him. Yeah. And we could all see his cards. So yeah. he would try to bluff and it just wasn't working. Probably made it fun enough. Probably made it fun for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won that night. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Of common occurrence, of course. You're so academic. Well, n no. Um, not, not, not common. I mean, not, not rare. I mean, I win. I just, uh, you know, you have your good nights. You have your bad nights. It's just how mm -hmm. the night as the game goes. Does, does Wario ever play with you guys? Once. Never again. Let me guess. He tried to cheat the game. He tried to eat the cards. Were they garlic cards? No. Wow. Well, that is just strange. You know You know what I have to say, too? I I'm did glad sprinkle you're... garlic on his cards. But the cards <laughs> themselves were not garlic. No. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm I'm glad that your you know your you, your your voice has never sounded better. Your 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 vocal intonation is very strong, and and your tone is so pure. You your your voice is so similar to how it was twenty years ago. You, you sound as young as you ever were. Um, Wario's been sounding a little rough lately though, and I hear Mario and Luigi too. They're a little little different. Yeah, it, it happens sometimes, you know. Uh, you get a little bit older. Uh, you spend 20, 30 years on, with one voice. And then, oh, the, the old vocal cords just can't do what they used to. And, you know, you just sound a little different. Mm -hmm. You sound a little mm -hmm. different. And so sometimes you know people get real upset. And it's like, listen, I can't. It's not my fault. Yeah. It's, it's you know, it just happens. It just it just happens. So you noticed that in them too recently. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're they're putting on a good face about it. Uh, no nobody likes being told that your voice is uh, aging out, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But they're they're doing their best. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say, and I and I know you're all your own individuals, but if you did have a voice actor, say that you, you had somebody voicing you in your in your in your documentary or or mm -hmm. something, your your mm. legacy. Yes, who would who would that be for you? Who who would you want to be your voice actor? You know, I hear <clears throat> Chris Pratt is a real good Italian. You know what? I've heard the same. I've heard the same. He eats lasagna and everything. That's why he's got the world as Garfield. Too. I think I'm gonna go with Morgan Freeman. There's just a richness to that man's voice. There is. There is. I um Yeah, I can appreciate that. I can I can see the vocal resemblance as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah In my younger days I might have said Justin Bieber, but mm -hmm. nah, not anymore. Yeah, I get that. I get that. He's he's a little a little too uh under his, his vocals have not developed into Morgan Freeman's rich tone. His, you know, his, his vocal cords aged out. That happened. Mm -hmm. That's actually true. Yes, um, Morgan Morgan Freeman. He um, 
one of my favorite quotes from him is baby 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 oh I like when he played God. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like me. That? Yeah. 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 So you so you're the god of your own. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. What about the golden pipe? Is that is or is that more like a metaphor? The golden pipe is less of a deity and more of a thing you gotta seek. Okay. Okay. Like like, like, like a wishing that. well. Mm-hmm. Or I the great pumpkin. <laughs> or um we yeah we it, so in some ways it's similar to uh certain 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 beliefs and and religions we have here but uh instead of an eightfold path it's a it's a golden pipe yeah it's like the people that uh that don't leave you copy and paste the sense of your status on facebook they can't take your pictures it's kind of mm -hmm. like that were you into that um, copy and paste era of Facebook, or were you more of a MySpace HTML custom coding guy? Listen, when I see the post saying that Bill Gates couldn't give away a million dollars to everybody that shares a status, you bet your butt I'm going to share that thing. <laughs> who are who are your top ten friends in the MySpace era, Waluigi? Well, let's go. Who made that? Mm -hmm. There was Daisy. Um, Mm -hmm. But then I removed Daisy for reasons that I don't need to discuss. That's what we yeah. have. Oh, let's see. Who else did I have? Man, this was a lot of years ago. You got to understand, this was a long time ago. So yeah. I, I got I to think back to who I had. Uh, mm -hmm. Who did I say already? Shit. Goombella. Goombella. We got Goombella. Uh, we also had um, Marilyn. There's Marilyn. Oh. Neela. Neela. Wanda's sister, Neela. Big fan of her. I had, you know, you know, of course, you know, I had my dad and my mom on there, because what kind of monster would you be if you didn't have your parents as one of your friends, right? Come on, yeah. it's just, it just makes sense. Um, there's Buddy the Parasect. Mm-hmm. Good guy. Good guy. Uh, Kylie Koopa. Big fan of Kylie Koopa there. Uh, have you ever played The Legend of Zelda? Yeah, I know. I know them. All right, all right. So you know... You know the guy that needs paper? Yes. The guy in the toilet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was one of them. Cool. He was always changing his name, so I, I don't know what his name actually is. He was one of those types where it's like, you know, oh, I have all the little effects for my title name here. And hey, come to my page and you'll hear the blaring loud music. Except for him, it wasn't, like, it, it was the Great and Mighty Pooh's music. It, mm -hmm. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of funny. But not yeah. when it's, like, on loop. Mm-hmm. Loud. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that was, I think that was eight of them. Nice. Sounds all right. Who else did I have back then? All oh, right, I forgot about Harry. Oh, I love Harry. Uh, we had a bit of a rival in the tennis courts, actually. Good guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some pretty good muscles. Yeah. Firm. Very firm. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's one more. Who did I have? Who were they? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Morton. Uh, you know, a lot of the Koopalings, they got some issues. Like, Lemmy is like... Lemmy, Lemmy needs help. Like, professional help. And his, his, his family won't get it to him. They're being very problematic with that. Morton is like the one guy there that's like an actual decent fella. So I like Morton. Nice. That's your 10. Yeah. It was a fun walk down memory lane. Um, thinking back to Y2K as well, and the, you know, in your Mario Tennis <laughs> early days. <laughs> um, remember ringback tones? No. Where you, would, where you would call a friend, and then instead of a ring, you know, the standard ring, it would be playing World 1-1's music in the background. They would have purchased for 99 cents on their phone store, 
um, not a ringtone, but a ringback tone. So when you call them, it'll play music to you until they answer. That sounds horrible. Why would anybody do that? A lot of people thought it was a cool idea back in the 2000s. It was a strange time. People are weird. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a phone, so I don't know. But Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost got one a couple years ago. Yeah. Blackberry? No, no, it's one of those uh those those Walmart phones. Oh, the you have a Walmart in the Mushroom Kingdom. That's cool. Well, cool. not not Walmart specifically, it's it's Toad Mart, but it's mm-hmm. it's kind of like how, you know, in uh, in Australia, they've got uh Hungry Jack instead of Burger King. Mhm. Yeah, it's like that. Have you been to Australia? No, no, oh, I don't think so. Have I? My I agent you... will tell me if I've forgotten again, <laughs> like with Canada. I don't think I, I have, though. Okay, I I know you've um. You've ridden horses though, in England. No, oh, yes, yes, mm-hmm. that was that hurt. And I think you've brought a few back to the Mushroom Kingdom. There, there were a few parties that you brought the horses to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the biscuit eaters don't know, the biscuit eaters ain't ever going to find out. That's true. But are you thinking because you're there? There's a there's a side of you that that people are starting to recognize as a horseback rider. Do you think you would bring a horse to smash? Hmm. I mean, I feel like if somebody was going to bring a horse to smash. It'd be something that's a little more known for it. Like, I don't know. Maybe, like, Sigurd or somebody. Do you think Epona could work as their own character? Hmm. Do you know how would How would that work? I mean, they're just a horse. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, riding a horse, this makes sense to me. Mm Mm-hmm. But being a horse and... Attacking. Mm-hmm. Huh. Happened in Hyrule Warriors. I mean, we got a piranha plant. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I think piranha plant was grown into Smash so that way they could prove about anything. Could you grow a horse? Yeah, I mean, you could. Maybe we <laughs> can grow a horse. If if you were a horse and I were a horse, then we could figure out a way to make a horse. Why would I be a horse? I just Is that what the new power ups? I heard they got to be elephants. Yeah, yeah, but um, I hear the horse the horse fruit is coming up. The carrot, the horse carrot. I'd rather be a centaur. Maybe that's what you would become if you ate it. I can get a I can get a bow and arrow and be a centaur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can shoot eggplant arrows. You can do whatever you want. I can shoot an arrow at the green one. Yes, please do. Please do. Waluigi's mansion. Here we come. I would love a mansion. How do you feel about ghosts? You see, the thing with ghosts is that they're just tenants that don't pay rent. True. So Wario has a big issue with them. We may have a couple. Yeah. Uh, booze or, or, or more of a rustic variety? Uh, well, I mean, there's really one big boo. And mm-hmm. sometimes they become a bunch of smaller boos. Mm-hmm. And, um, and Bulasis as well. Do you re- remember that guy? Doesn't ring a bell, actually. Or, or Bogmire. They, they, do they come to your neighborhood? Bogmire. Bogmire. Mm-hmm. Mr. Lugs, perhaps. Were they a relative? They still sound familiar to me. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check with Wario later about them. Okay. The hotel Waluigi. How do you feel about a hotel Waluigi game? 
That sounds like a lot of work. Do you know how, I, I, do you know how exhausting it is to manage a hotel? Not personally, no. It's a bitch. Mm -hmm. I worked the front desk of one once. Did you? Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, it was just one. You you didn't you didn't need that. Not with everybody bringing their their clothes for check in and on those little mobile racks. No, no, no. Mm hmm. What was the worst part about that job? The Karens. Mm hmm. I hear you. Were those mostly toads? <laughs> mostly, mostly. Uh, there's a few toadies. Uh, mm -hmm. They usually pal around with um, so, some of the magic koopas. But uh, mm -hmm. there's a few ones that are just like, they think they're more important than they are. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. I hear you. I hear you. Like, but you, who you can become be more... like the top, you become the, like the top little grunts of one of the high ranking magic koopas, and suddenly <laughs> you're that high ranking too. Like, I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, but I mean, speaking of high ranking magic koopas, Word out on the street is that Cammy Koopa had a crush on you once upon a time. Cammy? Mm -hmm. I gotta make a phone call to this. <laughs> Trying to see if he can reignite that spark. Yeah, if, if you heard her hit single in no. 2002. No, My man. I gotta call the, my, my agent, because I'm supposed to have a restraining order against her. Oh no, it, it went south, did it? She was a stalker! Oh no. How terrible. How she, terrible. So, so not your not your type. Not she your wears type. purple because of me. Yeah. She tried to steal my whole thing. So less flattery and more more what would you say? Stalker! Oh no. So it's it doesn't do anything for you that she can summon blocks out of this guy? No. Blocks are dangerous. You hit your head. Yeah, that's true. You can you you would have to do a lot of maintenance with your fist. You'd have to jump in the air too many times. These gloves stay pristine. Mm-hmm. They they look very pristine. Do you iron them? Every fortnight. And you starch them as well, I would imagine. Of course. Excellent, excellent. Is there like a super starch that you buy from Toad Mart? You know, that goes with the super brand of everything else in your uh, world? Or? I go for the ultra brand, personally. It's a little well, pricier, but the quality is worth it. I understand that. I understand that. Um, yeah, you, you've got style. We, we've seen you more recently dressed up as a bus driver and, mm -hmm. and you're in your Oktoberfest uniform with a great oh, big yeah. sausage that you must have grilled yourself. It looked delicious. I'm very good at grilling things. Mm -hmm. We were talking yeah. about the eggplants. There's yeah. eggplant in the sausage. I was getting to that. Yeah, I, I, I kind of saw the little specks in there. It looked yeah, great. It looked great. Um, who knew you had some? You, you had some German in you, I suppose. It's also eggplant alcohol. <laughs> nice. Yes. Nice. How do you make? It? Do you, do you leave an eggplant out in the in the attic for a couple weeks? Years. Yeah. Okay. And then you pick it up and you just kind of just squeeze it in a bottle uh it's it's more complicated than that um you really use more like a, a whole hand rigging juicing thing and it's mm -hmm. got to go through a filtration system but mm -hmm. essentially yes so so you hand ring it like this kind of kind of like the previous motion no 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 yeah. no, no no like this like a twist like this? okay okay not like this no 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 yeah. Okay, interesting. It's horizontal interesting. twist. Okay. You gotta, you, Excellent. It has okay. to drip. Oh, yeah. From So you twist it, and then physics do, does the thing, and it drips yes. from the center. Trickle down physics. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very <laughs> Um I Yeah, trickle down physics. Um, sounds like that may actually work. It has been. Um, yeah. Um, so, I mean, that... Being said, what's been your favorite style that you've kind of rocked so far, besides the purple? I mean, purple's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But uh, honestly, I, I was really disappointed that they didn't let me get to wear this sooner. But you know when they had the, the Aces tournament for tennis? Yeah. That's a real good tennis uniform. It was Every other tennis. time, they only let me wear the plumber get up. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. I'm not even a plumber. Never yeah. was. Yeah. But Where did the plumber fit come from then? Uh, contracts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, so you know, the Mario and Luigi, the plumbers, Wario tried to set him up as being like the evil Mario, so he's got to dress himself up like a plumber. And then I was brought on board to be his partner. So I had the match. It's mm-hmm. also why I go by well, Luigi. It's a stage name. But like we discussed earlier, it's not my real name. And I had I had to go over it. I, I had to do it for, for the contracts. I understand. Word on the street, though, is that your real name is Bruce Polizzi. Bruce P- Oh, fucking God. Not again. God damn it. We had a source, I'll tell you, off off the record was Cami Koopa told us. <sighs> yeah, I know it was Cami Koopa. Mm-hmm. I tell everybody a different name. That mm-hmm. way I can find out who's leaking shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, for the record, your name is not Bruce Polizzi. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Okay, okay, got it. Um, rumor was, too, long ago, that the, that your real name was hard-coded into, the, into this code, the code of Waluigi's foot fault. Three little letters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, but no one's really officially found it yet. It's kind of like L is real. I mean, it's really hard to find when it's three letters and the code is like a lot of letters. So, Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. um, Starts with a D. Ah, nice. Excellent, excellent. Well, we will... Put it to the fans, uh, Waluigi fans. What do you think Waluigi's true name is? Uh, maybe if someone guesses it right, they can win a free trip to Wario's Woods. They'll get a free copy of my uh, my game on Virtual Boy. Cool. Cool. Is that your proudest achievement so far? No. What would that be? Graduating. Very nice. Well, you know what? Congratulations to you for that. Thank you. Um, I, know so much hard I was captain of the yearbook too. team. Very nice. Yeah, Very it's nice. a competition. Uh, uh, several teams were made, uh, and they had to beat each other up to see whose yearbook would be the one that gets published. <laughs> so you're prominently featured in this yearbook, then. Yes. Excellent. I would love to. I would. I'm love on the to cover. Wow. Are you also every other uh, person in the yearbook? Not all of them. Uh, okay. I did make sure to hide a little hidden Waluigi in every page, though. Cool. Do you kind of press it and you get a few coins if you find it? You get a woohoo. Nice. From you? Yes. Like, does it... No, 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 no. That's not... That was a terrible impression. What does it sound like, then? Wahoo! Yeah, that's that's the Waluigi I grew up loving. Of course. Who what else would I be? Man. No one that I know. I've only no had one, one voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's You've never gonna change. Me. Never. Never. Not even in the movie I hear. The Waluigi movie. I'm not legally allowed to talk about that. Mm-hmm. We need we'll, we need to cut that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, you know, just word on the street as we've heard that you're you're gonna have a prominent role in the NCU. Yeah, well, word on the street was Andrew Garfield supposed to be in the Spider-Man movie, and he clearly wasn't. He swore mm-hmm. he wasn't, and he wasn't in it. That's true, but you know, this is this is a new world. This is a new. This is a post post strike. Anything can happen. Well, most things. We'll use your our imaginations to will you in to a role in all of our favorite films. As you should. Good Waluigi hunting. Fast Waluigi. and Furious. Waluigi edition. Yes. 
There's been so many of those films, it's about damn time. I do it for family, damn it! <laughs> it's, yeah. Who is your family? Your your mother and father? You'd well, yeah, yeah, I talk about them. Yeah. They are nice. on my MySpace top friends. Do you, do you do it all for them? Well, they're dead now, so, so no. Well, are those There's more. Uh, it didn't go so well for them. The Great Mushroom Kingdom War. When you get invaded time and time again, you know. Mm -hmm. Was that Bowser? No. It was the Bean Beans. Oh, no. Yeah. No wonder I haven't seen them in almost 20 years. Yeah. With the exception of one retelling. We kind of had to uh, get rid of them. Even? We burned him out to the roots. Even Lady Lima. That one took a little bit extra fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Queen Bean. She burned really Prince, good. Prince Peasley. Actually, we did find him. Huh. Don't know what happened. Did Even just... who else? Well, no, he's not a bean. You only have beans. Does Hahuros chill out in your backyard these days? No, 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 no. No, he's still okay. in the, the formerly known as the Bean Bean Kingdom. Okay, okay, okay. It's interesting. It must be strange to gatekeep a place that no longer exists. Kind of lamentable for him. But, you know, it was at the, at the same time collecting all of the Hahuros' soul gems spinning around. It was a difficult task. Though what's strange is that there have been murmurs, I don't know if you've heard them, that Prince Peasley is attempting to create his own uh, Foot Fault title. Wait, what? Prince Peasley's Foot Fault, where you have to burn his toes? Okay, hold on. First of all, if you knew that, why did you ask about Prince Peasley? He he wanted to. He t he turned in a question to to this show. You're taking viewer questions. We are. Where are the viewers? Well, it, it there's there's a live feed. It's it's not um on the Mushroom Kingdom side of things, but but from out of Atlanta, we're we're getting a feed sent to my telephone as we speak and you know maybe if this is successful we can continue this interview on twitch or or uh passes or anywhere else how would that make you feel i'm huh Okay. <laughs> I need to make another call to my agent after this. <laughs> Do you? A few. A f okay. Okay. I Sounds like something may have come up. Not supposed to be in live content? No? No. That well, way we can edit things out. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we have a live editor. There's a five-second delay on everything that we do. I don't know if that's enough. It's it's our old pal, um, Alfie the dog. He's, he's behind me working on everything. What the hell are they hearing right now, then, while we talk about this? Whatever you said five seconds ago. On loop? Yes. Actually, at, from the beginning, it's been, it's been a consistent loop of us talking about your Mario Tennis days and Waluigi's footfall for about the last hour. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, really, they really enjoy that very specific cut of content. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. 
But to but to go back to this theory, this thought that perhaps Waluigi, you may have a role in the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Not that this is anything more than a rumor. What would be your hopes? Where where would you take your role as as a character in in these films? I mean, I think there's a pretty simple idea here. Honestly, we can't go over the same origins. It just doesn't work the same way. Like, they're not going to show me going to magic school. They're not going to see Wario being a businessman. No, no. What, what, we, what we do here... The Mario Brothers started out working for all form and Spike. You know, that was what they did at the start. And then they went off on the little woo mushroom adventure... Yeah. And then they came back to Brooklyn and they were, you know, fighting in front of everybody else, beating up on people, uh, kind of exposing the citizen of the world that way. Here's yeah. what you do. Wario and myself, we work for a different company. Not Foreman Spikes. Uh, somebody else. I don't know. Foreman Mike or something. Wyke. Foreman Wyke. <laughs> there you go. Foreman Wyke. Okay. And, you know, the companies themselves were, you know, rivals themselves already. And then mm -hmm. we just see the Mario Brothers go off and do their own thing. And we're just like, oh, hell no. Nah. We ain't gonna let them be the only ones gonna do this fun. So we break off and we go do our own thing. And then, you know, we start causing all kinds of trouble. We make them come back. Because, you know, we're studying the good name. Because, you know, yeah. people are dumb. They just see the same mouth as they think we're the same people. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> and then we fight them. And I I kick their ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So sounds like a fun, fun movie. And then, of course, would be the crossover into The Legend of Zelda. That would be interesting. Yeah. I bet it would be. I don't know if I could rock that outfit. But I'll take the role. I bet you could. I yeah. bet you could. If Link, if Link can drive a cart around your your turf, you can certainly wear um, a tunic in his. Yeah, absolutely. A, pur a purple one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, it, it'll be like the four Links, except it'll just be me. Yeah, and you'll have chain mail and... Of course, guys. Bring good, good times. Good yeah. times. You can't trust a man in the tunic, but you can trust a man in the tunic and chainmail. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's what I've learned in my time on Earth. Also, have like a little half cape kind of deal. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. that would be wonderful. That would be really cool. Um, And then you can translate that into your eventual playable character role in Smash. It'll be one of my costumes. Mm hmm. I, I think that's coming up. I think this next Smash game is really it. I mean, if it's not, I riot. What do you? What do you? What if you thought? You know, being being like the prodigal assist trophy, the 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 one that everybody thinks of. You know, the, you think of an assist trophy, it could very easily be you. Every time you've been there since brawl, do you think there's a prestige to this role, or or are you just tired of it? Listen, listen. Here's the deal. Assist trophies didn't exist at the start. There's only, you know, so many people that get to fight in these things. So when you're said, hey, we don't have room for you to fight, but we can still bring you on as an assist type role. And you're mm -hmm. thinking to yourself, okay, you know what? That's pretty good. You know, they can only have 30 something fighters but they still thought of me to not necessarily fight on my own but to help out others in a fight mm -hmm. and well sometimes you know I'm called upon to help people I'd rather not help I still get to kick people and batter them with my tennis racket and that's a lot of fun mm -hmm. but when it's happened again and again you know after time it's Starts to get a little disheartening. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, at least they're still calling. It's not yeah. like poor Isaac that mm. didn't get the call for uh, the fourth one. 
they called him back eventually. But you know, he he was really disappointed. And I was like, that that was a real cool guy, and they didn't bring him back. It's like, what's wrong with you? And, mm -hmm. You know, there's also that little bit of hope too, because a couple of my fellow assists, you know, they've been uh, invited to come back as a full fledged fighter. You know, there was uh, there was Little Mac, and there was Isabel, and Dark Samus even. I'm just hoping next time's my time. You know, hopefully, yeah. We we hope so too. We've been hopefully hoping for Isaac too. I mean, we've gotten to be good mm -hmm. pals. Really? Yeah. What do you, what do you what do you, do you keep in touch? Every now and then. I mean, it's not like not like every day, but like mm -hmm. he likes to share his uh, his monthly Sudokus that he likes to do. <laughs> yeah. And you probably have to fill it out too with your university background. Uh, he's actually really good at them. So nice. Uh, I prefer doing the, the crosswords myself, mm -hmm. but he's really good at the Sudokus. Do you do it every day, your crosswords? No, not every day. Uh, about once a week or so. I don't always get the full thing either, because sometimes the references are just like, what is this scientific plant? It's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't study Latin. Yeah, nor botany. No, um, well... Kind of? I took an elective. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. piranha plants, you know. Yeah. The mandrakes as well, I had heard. Uh, nipper plants. Mm-hmm. The, the, yeah, those those were great. Those were, those were, so you have a, have you plant, have you grown uh, nipper plants as well then? Um, I've tried on a couple occasions, mm -hmm. but they're like weeds. They eat up everything around them. So when you have nipper plants and piranha plants, they kind of overgrow on the piranha plants and take away their food source. Yeah. So I kind of had to, like, cull them away. I I've tried a couple things to, like, make them work, but it's just not working out. Yeah. I hear that. But what about um, what about the island? You, you owned an island once upon a time, didn't you? Mm. Rented. R rented. Oh, rented. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The prices were uh, pretty steep. What do you What do you think? Um, if If you were playable in the next Smash, mm -hmm. do you think you can maybe re-rent the island to be your home stage? I mean, that could. Hmm. Are you thinking more of like a pinball thing? Why not go back to DDR? <laughs> You know, I actually had uh, a bigger role in that game compared to others. Yeah. I was the main villain. Yeah, you were. The best job my you agent were. ever got me. We would love for you to have a Waluigi's Dance Dance Revolution revival. Hell yeah. All of your taunts and smash could be different dances. Well, no. One, one, of, them's, one of them's a crop shot. Mm-hmm. That's one true. of them's got to be the, with the rose. Oh, mm -hmm. so uh, what do you? What do you? What would your move set look like? I mean, we know you can beat people up with a racket, but what else would there be? Okay, <laughs> so I'm a bit of a scamp, you know. I'm a, I love a little treacherous scamp. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, I can throw a die block. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I can use my mech to like swim to the air. Yeah. Or, uh, like, turn my legs into a tornado and fly through the sky. I guess Men and I kind of does that already. Meh. Uh, <laughs> but it's Waluigi. A favorite mm -hmm. of mine. That's where I create the vines out of my asshole. Yep. A little painful, but worth it. Mm hmm Uh, I could do, I could do baseball bats. You can use your dice from from your party experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked about that. They're a good die. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, obviously. Uh, I probably uh, use my own mean, like Waluigi branded die. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think that's that that's thing. pretty fitting. Mm hmm I always just punch somebody and like, in the gut, knock them out. Go yeah. good old sucker punch. Um. 
That's true. Oh, what about a bob uh, You can get a, you can get one of those and just lob them around. Huh. Mm-hmm. Or like a Waluigi pinball. What would you feel? People think that that could be a stage, and it sure can, but what do you think about it being um, a Final Smash? Interesting. I mean, mm-hmm. I know in the last one, they had this whole big thing where they wanted to wanted Final Smash to be like more like quick events and not power ups or whatever. So I guess you could do something like they become the pinball and like I'm playing the pinball machine and you just see them go bouncing around on the all little bumpers and paddles. Mm-hmm. And then they go straight down the pooper because they suck. Yeah. That could work. You can have multiple pinballs come out at the same time as well. Oh, yeah, if I hit multiple people? Oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. that makes sense, that makes sense. That would be, that would be pretty, pretty interesting. But, yeah, it's not, I think a sucker punch would be pretty, pretty interesting because you can do a lot, you can do more than you would think with it, right? I mean, you hit them in the right spot, they're not going to get up for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you, you may be able to even maybe take an attribute from one of the fighters. Like, if you punched Kirby, maybe you could have an extra jump. Yeah. So you're saying I could commit copyright infringement? Kirby already does, so why not? I like it! Yeah! (laughs) And we have a surprise for you, Waluigi. Oh, this and more. We we made a fan move set for you in Smash Brothers. We want you in Smash so badly that Zantok and I, long ago on this very podcast, created a move set for you. Really? Yeah. On our, on our, we call it on the Smash Topia Wiki. It is available for all to see. Huh. And that sucker punch you mentioned is actually in the move set. With like the stealing and shit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and we we thought of you that way because we love you so much. It was actually our first ever uh, Smash Topia episode. We we always we build a uh, move set for characters every cycle of the podcast in our Smash Topia episodes. You were our very first. This is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. Yeah. It's it's because we respect you, Waluigi. I'm going to need that link. Okay. I'll, I'll shoot it over your way right now. Thank you. There you go. You can check it out after the po- after this recording podcast is done and and really really bask in it. Just just know that people made it from the heart. And from the eggplant growing in their stomach. I'm going to frame it on my fridge. Excellent, excellent. Your fridge full of eggplant, right? Yeah. Excellent. We wouldn't... eggplant excellent. Yes, we we wouldn't have it any other way. Um, Rolling it back, I suppose. Would you be interested in a a quick little lightning round of of questions? Is this like... So the first thing that comes to your mind, or like... Word association, what, what, what are we doing? Yeah. Like the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, the title of your memoir. Eggplants. Me and you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, on a similar note, what are you reading right now? The first draft. Perfect. What are you watching? What's your favorite television show? The Bachelor. Excellent. Are you interested in the Golden Bachelor at all? The what? The one with, uh, I believe it's a 50-plus-year-old man. It's their new Ooh, older spinoff. That's my yeah. type. Yeah, you're going to have to look into that, I feel. I'm going to have to. Mm-hmm. A golden, much like your, your Lambda on your, on your cap. Like the Golden Pipe? Yeah, oh, wow. Who knew? It may have been the Bachelor all along. Uh, what are you playing? What, what 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 kind of games are you playing right now? Oh, uh, well, I, I've talked about Genshin earlier. Like that's that's a constant thing. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I've also, like, you know the whole Pokemon Infinite Fusion? That's been really popular lately. I tried it out a little bit. Uh, the controls were kind of weird. Like, for some reason, they're, they're not like normal controls. I don't know why. They're not traditional controls. So I, I, I gave that a shot. Didn't work out. Uh, I'm actually playing Doki Doki Literature Club right now, though. I just started it for the first time. Uh, haven't seen much about it. Looks really cute, though. Yeah, I, I hear it's a really, really cute and, and just pick-me-up kind of game. Yeah. Um, Yuri's my favorite. Nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure nothing will happen there. It'll be it'll just be a straight shot to romance. Yeah, I love the romance games. <laughs> Bring a tear to my eye. I bet. I bet. Um, what's your favorite animal? Giraffes. Giraffes? Because they're as tall as you? And you can ride them like the horse? Better than a horse. They don't try to knock have... me off when I stand behind them. Oh, that's true. If you could have any... If you can, you can use any power-up right now, what would it be? Just including many. perhaps one we haven't, including perhaps one we haven't heard of over here. There's, there's just, oh no, I know the answer. Do I you? Know it's the gold, the gold effect from New oh, Super yeah. Mario Brothers Two. There you go. Everything you go. becomes money. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That would be helpful. Yes. That would be helpful. Get a what second you house. <laughs> what would you do if you became an elephant? I, I guess I'd eat. Yeah. Yeah. You can also hit. And maybe play soccer. Oh. Very true. Okay. Very true. I even though you are not in wonder, not to not to reopen that wound. No. Um, there are there are I people tried. that have made fan art of you as Elephant Waluigi, and they're they're stumping for you to get a taste of that power up sometime. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of fan art, in fact. Well, it's better than the time people try to drill me with the super crab. <laughs> that was and weird Yoshi, days. I mean, Yoshi can't use power ups in the game, but, no. but they're making elephant Yoshis. Neither can Nabbit. Mm hmm. Would you say he deserves that, or should he be? No, he stole my purple. Fuck him. Yeah, true, 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 true. Hopefully, he's not playable in Smash yet. Next. I'll kill him. Yeah. I bet you will. The invulnerability might, might be a little hard to get past, but you can do it. I mean, if Ganondorf, who's supposed to only be able to be killed by the Master Sword, can be killed, still can nab it. True. True. Out of all of the um, eggplant recipes that you've enjoyed, what is your very favorite? Eggplant ravioli. I believe that. Hand Handmade pasta. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Is that a p potato base? Uh, mushroom, actually. Wow. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Mushrooms in pretty high abundance there, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it always that dark out? It looks beautiful. No, um, it's time zones, you know. It's actually really true. late here. True. true. Yeah, we're both about 20 years behind and in front of you, as I understand it. Mm-hmm. That's like how Mario's always been 40. Bar Simpson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know Bart? Yeah. We actually went, we went to school together. Nice. nice yeah. We nice, were both in the Magic nice, Academy. Nice. I can believe that. I can believe that. That's excellent. Um, did you take classes together then? No. No. He, we were in a couple clubs, so he was like a few years above me. He was a prodigy. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I hear that. Um, if you built your own race car, mm. what would its name be? Wamaha. <laughs> Coincidentally, also the name of your own piano. You got excellent. it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I can imagine you as a as a vampire Waluigi behind a piano, much like Dracula. Ba, 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 ba. 
Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. That would be the day. That would be the day. Um, would you turn down a role in in the uh, in, in Castlevania moving forward? Absolutely not. Give me that. <laughs> would you Would you rather be in the role of the villain, or would you rather be in the role of, say, a protagonist like a Belmont? I don't. Hmm, geez. Whips are dangerous. It's mm -hmm. very easy to hurt yourself when you're using them, and that thing is tipped with a flail. Yeah. I'll take the villain role. <laughs> Do you, um... I mean, Castlevania is often set in Gothic times. Do you have a favorite time period when you're, when you're studying history? The Roman Empire. What, what, what can you relate to most with the Roman Empire? Nero. True that. True He's that. a true icon. A mm -hmm. hero. <laughs> and um and it you know the Greco Roman Empire. Uh what is what what what's your relation to Greece? Have you have you been? Um They really don't like it when you impersonate their gods. Mm -hmm. And by they I mean the gods. <laughs> so you've had an, a run in with Zeus. A uh, Dionysus, actually. Wow. What what was on Dionysus's mind? Wine. True. True. When you were making your eggplant wine, but it wasn't fast enough for, for them. Uh they actually said it tasted like shit. Which was insulting. Oh, well, well what's the matter with them? Uh apparently there a lot of things is the matter with them, because it was fucking beautiful. But mm -hmm. then Dionysus mm -hmm. showed up, he was like, bro. No, it's like an event more for me, and a, and a purple bottle and everything, a purple flask. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, all of all of that to say, um, you know, this reminds me of something that Blister, my podcast co-host, he would often he would often say or do. Oh, um, he's he's rather prolific and within our group of friends, not on this podcast, but within our group of friends for, for running polls about things that he might want to do next. Oh, um, movies and games that people may want him to watch or play. Mm -hmm. Um, and it became such a, such a meta thing that he, he actually even ran a poll poll to decide which poll people would want to pull on next. Sounds messy. Yeah. And that ended up being the poll poll, which was a poll where we polled each other on what our favorite poll, P-O-L-E, was. Such as the gold what? poll from your world. I... Yep. And then the winner of that poll ended up being the poll poll itself. Give me... I'm trying to run the math on this. Mm-hmm. And this mm -hmm. is a... So... All right. So hold on. You're saying you held a poll. Yes. To find out what the next poll should be. Mm hmm And the winner was a poll about polls. Yes. Like physical, you know, polls. Yes. P-O-L-E. And the winner mm -hmm. of the best poll was the poll about the polls? Yes. Yes. Is your friend okay? I'm not sure. He he already ran away and eloped with Willis Wallister. I thought you said he stole. Oh, that's right. He stole your girl. Oh shit. Long time ago, but we're trying to get over it. That's why we do this show. We we find that we still have so much to relate on, especially when we're talking about you. So this is your form of couples therapy. We're figuring it out. I see. Maybe you can join us one of these days. I see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a little um, messy for me. It, but Not let's say lie. you ran a poll. You ran a poll. What would no. your poll be? Ooh. Best fruit or vegetable? I believe it. It would and be eggplant. If eggplant doesn't win, then it was rigged. Mm-hmm. What would you say if a mushroom won? 
or garlic. Or even a Yoshi egg. Oh, what's that doing there? I'm wait, what a Yoshi egg? That's not mm -hmm. a fruit or a vegetable. People are weird, man. I or mean you're durian. right. Okay, now durian is a fruit. Mm -hmm. That's that's legit. Don't you have another brother who's very interested in durians? Yeah. Do we are Iario. He's a janitor. <laughs> Don't hear about him a whole lot. I mean, there used to be a webcomic that featured him a few times, but uh, nothing since. Kind of been out of a job. Gotcha. But is he still a janitor? Yes, but it's like an internship okay. thing. Okay. They pay him an exposure. He doesn't really know mm -hmm. what that means. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you'll find him in only spinoffs. It's not a bad idea. Mm hmm. Iario versus Stanley. <laughs> Surely Iario will win. Mm. He can clean up the buggy mess. Press X to doubt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I understand that. Um, any other siblings you want to talk about that we don't know about or friends or. More of a lone wolf, Waluigi. Pearl's all right. Merle? Pearl. Pearl. The, yeah. the whale? No, from uh, Off the Hook. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you and her get along, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're both mm -hmm. like little gremlins of sorts. Yeah, yeah. And you, do you like that drone that she has that she's able to pilot around these days? I like her voice cannon. Mm hmm. I wish you had one of those. It would make sweet music. I do too. Mm hmm. Final Smash. Ah! <laughs> Man, Waluigi, this is this has been one heck of a time. I really have to thank you again for for joining us here today. It's been tiring. It has been, but you know what? I think the Great Brit British Bake Off is almost ready for you. They're, they're just around the corner. They have their their petitier is is set. They're they're ready to go, um, but I feel like this interview could go even further. What what else would you like to talk about that we haven't touched on? I want money. Okay, is there a link that we should send people to 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 help you out? Uh, yeah, um, I have a Patreon. It's, mm -hmm. uh, Waluigi is number one. Mm -hmm. Uh, but number is spelled, like, N-U-M-B-U-H. Mm -hmm. Then one is, uh, W-Zero-N. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. What, what will you, what, what's this money going towards? Uh, my bills. Everyday supplies and, and bills. Okay. Yeah. We understand that. What, what what does a daily bill look like? Like a day in the life of Waluigi's bills. What is, what is, what do you what do we have to pay for here? Well, there's the plumbing. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Uh I gotta pay for the Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. There's the electricity. Mm-hmm. Uh I've got sixteen only spin-offs that I'm subscribed to. <laughs> I normally I normally just keep that subscribe button off. You know, just let it let it renew when you need it to. Oh, I do the yearlies. Oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah that's a lot of money up front. Yeah, it is. There's <laughs> a reason I live in an outhouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's also uh the fund uh every month I send um Miyamoto a, a letter begging mm -hmm. for a bigger role. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, postage is a bitch. It is from the from Wario's Woods to to Japan. Yeah, it's quite a. Mm -hmm. Even using the pipes, it's still per Perry Carry. Don't fuck around. Mm hmm. Quite a famous post man. He gets around. Oh, he does. He does. He may be the next to to find Wallister's hand. Hey, I mean, if he can steal away the girlfriend that was stolen away, I'll root for it. 
Terry Carey could very well do it. He's a he's a charmer, but so are you. So are you. If you want to maybe mosey on down and figure things out with us again, couples therapy. We'll 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 foot the bill on that one. I like will the you pay for dinner. Yeah, I will. All right. Eggplant, eggplant parmesan. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Talking language here. On a sweet eggplant roll. Hmm. You can fit it in the palm of your hand like this. Like a hot dog. Yeah, an eggplant in a hot dog bun. Yes. <laughs> a whole eggplant. Roasted. It would be delicious. And an eggplant smoothie. Stirred and not shaken. With a little slice on the side. Yes, yes, I, I do think so. You know what? There's, there's, there's a little dog right next to me that I'm watching after. Do you have a dog at home? Or no, no, unfortunately not. I mean, I've got the piranha plants, but mm-hmm. that's it. What about the horses? Did you, did you leave them off at a stable or? Um, that's another one of the bills. Gotcha, gotcha. Is something, something to look after. Yeah, and, and yeah. Watch we don't, we don't really have. I mean, we have the room, technically. We don't have a place to, like, keep them here. You know? Gotcha. Gotcha. If I let them but free roam, they'll run away. Mm-hmm. I understand. I understand. Your agent's actually trying to get a hold of me now. Oh. Um, yeah, or I'm getting a oh, call from shit. a different number. They're, they're mentioning, yeah, it's the Brit- yeah, the, the Bake Off people. They're ready for you. Oh. They are. Oh. They're good to go. So I guess excellent. I, uh, I should go. All of you, our hero and our friend, thank you again for taking the time to chat with us today. Of course, uh, I didn't know I was going to be doing this, but uh, yeah. Is there is there anything you'd like to tell the fans, the people, as your sign off? Never give up. Never surrender. There will be a Waluigi game someday. There will be. And you will be in Smash. You're goddamn right I will. <laughs> and on that note, um, on that note, is there anything you'd like to share with my co-host who couldn't be here today? One final message for him. Thank you for being a fan, but you're a piece of shit for stealing his girlfriend. Get fucked. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate the support and putting it on this channel where he regularly hosts. That's just another another burn. Fuck him. Like the burnt end, burnt end of a grilled eggplant. So thank you, Waluigi, again. We'll uh, we'll see you soon. I'm sure this won't be the last time that we'll have you on our show. I. That's not a question for me. That's a question for my agent. We will. We'll touch base. We'll All touch right. Base. All right, pipe on out of here. It's time for your bake off. I'm out. Good luck, with plant bread. See ya. Oh, and that was our interview with Waluigi. What a what an interesting guy he is. It was really something to to play as him and and watch him and and really look up to him as as a hero for so many years. Uh, someone to truly look up to. Uh, our first celebrity interview, guys, on Supercast Brothers. Uh, no better way to start Season 5. Thanks for being here. I'm signing off.